all right guys part three here got the car running got the engine back in got the car running running pretty good don't have any check engine lights or anything um let's see this engine went into the car it went in a lot better than it came out um basically uh it wasn't it wasn't that bad at all once i got um the harness swapped over your vtec pressure switch swapped over instead of replacing the whole vtec solenoid um what else did i have to do um oh yeah on the transmission there's uh on the jdm transmission there's a different bracket for the uh shift linkage and you have to take your shift linkage bracket off of this is the jdm one it doesn't work on this usdm car uh basically i just took the one off the usdm transmission and put it on this transmission and uh, fixed that little problem also this uh now here's your uh, shift linkage uh, cover off the jdm one you're gonna have to use your usdm usdm uh cover for your shift linkage uh like i said man the hardest part was probably putting the freaking uh, serpentine belt back on the car once i got it in there got in there and everything that was probably the hardest part besides that and the air box those are the two hardest things to do on this car is the freaking serpentine belt and an air box but uh other than that it's pretty straightforward it's a easy swap to do everything pretty much bolts right up you don't really have to swap much out um let's see i guess that's gonna be it car's running pretty good got it up to operating temperature pretty sure got all the air bled out yep 190,000 miles on the car itself roughly probably 50,000 on the JDM R18A in the car um, let's see making sure I didn't forget anything else we got a little shot if I can of the uh, engine code so you guys can see that it, and that it's an actual R18A in this car. R18A, no one after it. Let's see. I used the uh, JDM alternator. I didn't use the uh, factory one. The factory one's over there in my pile of parts I got. Honda parts. Might as well they were the same alternators. Might as well use the one with low miles versus the one with 200,000 miles on it. So, uh, but yeah, that's it. If you guys got any questions, uh, if you're doing this swap on your Civic or got a bowed up motor, uh, it's a good alternative. Can't beat it. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.